Hi Taurus, welcome to your general forecast for April. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Taurus, we're going to take a look at the energy around you at this time. Whatever comes out here could be general love, work, prayer, finance. Whatever messages we get, we're just going to read it as it comes. So welcome everybody. Hope everybody's doing well and staying safe and healthy. And this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, male or female watching. Um, it can be past, present, or future. Please only take it how it resonates for you. If it's not resonating, it's probably not your story. Please don't try to make it fit or leave me a ton of comments because I'll just delete them how, um, you know, it's not your story, blah, blah, blah. Then it's not your reading. So it's that simple. So uh, please keep that in mind. And if it's not your reading, uh, hold out for the next. Or you can check the description box below for your Love and General playlist. And you can go back. I do consider them all timeless, so feel free to check that out. And also, you'll find below um, how to reach out for personal reading, um, social media links. If you'd like to tip, donate, send a gift, that info is below. If you're not comfortable using PayPal for energy exchanges, uh, during the premiere only, Super Chat is open and available for tips or um, energy exchanges of any kind, if you choose to. And if you do, thank you. All right. So, Taurus. So this is a um, Zodiac Oracle. So we get a sign, element, or planet. And I just want one. And we'll see how that affects your reading. So if this doesn't resonate, that's fine. Let's see what we get here. So we got Earth. So that's your energy. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. So this is just saying, okay, yes, this is your reading. Virgo Taurus Capricorn, or you could be dealing with another Virgo Taurus Capricorn in your life in some way, shape, or form. It could be anybody, uh, family member, co-worker, well, for those who are still working, um, a significant other, could be anybody. So we'll see how that plays out into your reading. But Earth is uh, very stable, grounded energy. It's about growth and abundance. It's about nurturing, caring, and giving energy. It's about taking your time, not rushing, being smart, practical, and wise kind of energy also so we'll see how that plays into your reading all right so this deck here i'm going to get an opening message for you and then i'll get one for your energy and we'll go over the bottom of the deck and then i'll clarify that energy with the tarot and again we'll take whatever comes out whatever storyline messages comes out for you that's what we're going to take so we'll clarify your energy, your current situation, whatever it may be. And then we'll get advice for that situation, possible outcome. And they'll get some extra messages there with the work you write. So for Taurus, what is the opening message? That was quick. So we have here the eyes of beauty, positive expectations and clarity, 25, just seven. And seven is about um, spirituality, being divinely guided. So the eyes of beauty, so you could be um, expecting something to have a positive outcome, but you may still need clarity on a situation, but you're expecting the best, or you're hoping for the best, I feel. Or you're thinking with clarity, being very positive, expecting very positive things. So we'll see how that works out. So let's get an energy for you, Taurus. Get an energy for Taurus, please, at this time. Spirit, please, thank you so much. That's two. I just want one. One for Taurus, please. Thank you so much. One for Taurus. There we go. Oh, oh no, we got to go over the bottom of the deck. Okay. So we have the High Lord of Gratitude and Service. Selflessness, humility, conscious action. And we have two, which is about unity. So this is a very caring, compassionate, um, loving, nurturing, giving kind of energy. Very selfless kind of energy. Very uh, humble. Getting a very peaceful, calm kind of energy also. A conscious action like someone who doesn't hesitate to do the right thing or to help somebody in need or something you know even volunteering or something like that like giving 
service and being grateful and humble. Wow. It's kind of a good energy. Well, that is a good energy. So let's see what's at the bottom here. The Phoenix Resurrection Surrender to Change 29, which is 11. Um, 11 is about being on the right path. And 29, 11, and then 2, again, is about unity. So rising like the Phoenix here. Resurrection from the ashes. Regeneration, rebirth, transformation. Rising from destruction. But also surrendering to change also. Hmm. So I feel like here... Somebody, you know, it could have been through something, something pretty bad, but, you know, resurrected, rose from the ashes, rose above whatever situation that was in, you were in or was in and uh, changed what you needed to change. And now having like a very positive mindset out of this transformation and clarity just being hum humble and grateful for the lessons you've learned, being in a more selfless energy, in a conscious energy and peace and harmony. Wow, so what happened here? Being very uh, earth grounded, stable, secure, grounded kind of energy, wise and practical. It could have been a slow process. The earth energy is very slow. So let's see. So we got seven, eight, and we have two two, so and your two, and that's six two two two. That's six, so we got six seven eight. Wow, so we got progression here. All right, so three twos. So let's see here. So you may want to look up the angel number two two two. All right, so I feel like because twos are all about unity, uh, coming together of some kind. Uh, it could be friendship, family, lovers, just being in unity. I feel like your spirit and angel team, I feel like they have your back. They're always by your side. Like they're working with you. And you could have, you know, the support of friends, family around you also. All right. So what is this? Okay. I didn't ask yet. What is this energy? The Taurus, please. What's going on with Taurus? What's going on? I'm getting like a very self-nurturing, self-love kind of energy also. So knowing your value and your worth, you know, having self-love. Ten of Pentacles energy. So being very abundant in some way, shape, or form. Um, it could be abundant in any way if it's not financially. Just feeling, you know, that gratitude. Um and feeling abundant in other ways, in love and friendships and, you know, blessings and that kind of energy also. All right, so I don't feel comfortable taking that since I didn't ask. Okay, what else for Taurus? Too many. What else for Taurus? What is this energy for Taurus? Thank you. Six of Wands, so success, victory accomplishment i feel like you feel very accomplished now whatever you rose up from transformed from change whatever you changed in your life it's like you went from very negative space to a very positive space in some way and it could be within yourself mind body and soul it could be that you moved um started a new job or something here all right, so what else for Taurus? What else for Taurus? Just energy, please. Two of Cups. So now we got another two. Another two, again, about unity. This is usually soulmate union. Or it can be, you know, a soulmate doesn't have to be a lover. It can be a friend, a family member, or anybody here that you are... Um, in harmony that you're harmonious with in some way shape or form very balanced energy or it could be you having that self-love and finally balancing your energies out your yin and your yang your male your feminine your because we have feminine energy here and we have masculine 
energy here. So you probably here finally balanced out your energies. And now you're like complete, like you're one. Total peace, total uh, peace, joy, happiness. What else here? And the Six of Swords. Wow. So <laughs> Six of Wands, Six of Swords. So, you know, whatever was in the past is in the past. Leaving it behind. Leaving all the BS behind. And some of you could have moved. Six of Swords is about moving to a better place. So some of you could have physically moved. But this is in a much better place now. Peace, harmony, and balance. Like I said, six is about, to me, balance and healing energy. Also. And another six. Oh my gosh, I can't make this up. Six of pentacles. Again, with that balance. Balancing out the scales. Equal reciprocity. Equal give and take. Wow. Let's get one more for your energy right now. Whatever this energy is. Wow. The two, two of cups, six of swords, six of pentacles, six of wands, ten of pentacles. But now we have the three of wands, which is about patiently waiting for your ship to come in. This is a period of waiting for the future, waiting on the future, looking out into the distance here. So it could be, you know, there was a period of waiting before this transpired to a better place for some reason. Oh, sorry. So, I don't know, let's see what the Three of Wands is about. It's like you're looking, like looking at all this balanced energy. It's like you knew, intuitively you knew that all this was coming, that you were going to a much better place because you were looking out into the distance and you seen the sun, you seen the sun in the distance, you knew you were going to a better place, but there was a period of waiting for some reason. So whatever you rose up from the ashes from, whatever that situation was that put you in a period of waiting, you could see your future and you knew you were going to a much better place. Taurus. All right. So what is your current situation? What is your current situation? What is the current situation for Taurus? The wheel of fortune. So fate, destiny, divine timing, <laughs> better luck, fate and fortune, things going in a better direction. Again, things going in your favor. Divine timing, divine wheel of fortune. Universe has your back here, moving you forward. What else here? What else here? Again, that could be about moving. So some of you could be actually moving, physically moving. Or maybe you just have moved. Page of Wands, so some sort of good news coming in or passionate communication. So some sort of good news came in here that moved this wheel forward for you and enabled you to get much more balanced and able to move forward. Queen of Swords. So it could have been legalities of some kind here. Queen of Swords can represent um, legal matters, legal counsel, um, a wise counselor of some kind, or you could be dealing with an air sign um, or this is always my divine card, Queen of Swords, a, a Queen King or Ace of Swords always reminds me of divine intervention, divine clarity, as Swords is all about the mind and clarity. And we have clarity right there. So, or this just could be your energy, male or female, you know, gaining clarity, um, Open, honest, truthful communication, cutting away things no longer serving you, standing up, not backing down, telling it like it is. All right, so what else for uh, Taurus? Taurus, the high priestess. And I had said that, that you, <laughs> that looking out to the distance, you intuitively knew that you better days were coming. Whatever you were rising up from the ashes from, whatever it was for you, you knew that you were going 
to a much better place. You knew, you just knew in your gut. Maybe you didn't tell anyone, you know, maybe you, you saw it in your mind's eye. Okay. This is where I'm going. This is where I'm heading. I could see it. I could see my future. It's a much better place. I know exactly what's going to happen here. And maybe you just didn't tell anyone, kept it to yourself, but you knew deep down, you knew it could be very intuitive also. And there's that divine, um, universal energy, especially with the high priestess, the eight of pentacles. So working, you know, working, working, working here. So, you know, you could have just kept to yourself, just working and, um, saving your money. Mastering your craft here. All right, so I wouldn't be surprised if we got the nine of pentacles, but we do have the 10 up there. And sometimes that does represent marriage, um, long-term commitments, but it doesn't have to be. It can just be very, I mean, it could be down the road, but it also is a very, you know, lifelong, stable, lifelong energy of being very abundant, prosperous, and not really having to worry about your future. So that's a good energy. All right, so... What is the advice for Taurus? We get the four of cups. So, and I have felt that energy. Maybe you're kind of single. Maybe you're a little bored, complacent, you know, being single, just working and doing you. Maybe you're not really dating either. Well, right now, nobody's dating, but you know, maybe you're a little bored just sitting at home right now. And it's like, all I'm doing is working and coming home and sitting here and being bored by myself. <laughs> all right, so... And you're like, could be wondering, okay, when will I have my full Ten of Pentacles be able to, you know, settle down, have, you know, family. But we do see an offer here. So in the future, that could be coming in for you. All right. So what else for Taurus? Knight of Pentacles, a very slow moving energy here, but stable, grounded, wise, energy, trustable energy. So moving forward slowly, but cautiously, wisely, st very stable energy. Ten of cups. So happiness, joy, and fulfillment in every single way here. And the nine of cups. So wish fulfillment and happiness and joy. <laughs> so your advice here is as, as thing, as slow as things seem right now, like nothing's moving, you know, in the world and everything going on. Um, and you're kind of bored and complacent and you're like, okay, I just want wish fulfillment. I want to be able to go out again, you know, mingle again. I want to start to date again, kind of energy. Um, you just have to wait, <laughs> just have to wait. But I do see it coming in for you. you no know, possible soulmate, a lifelong companion, lifelong partner in marriage here. But whatever transpired in the past that you rose up from and you moved on from successfully, I do see better things coming for you in the future. So better days are coming for you, Taurus, in the future. Once the world gets to a better place, I feel. All right, so I feel like you're just grateful for, you know, the lessons you learned in the past, um, humbled, you know, being able to rise out of whatever circumstances you were in, like seeing the world in the new eyes of beauty. All right, growth, transformation. What is your possible outcome, Taurus? The Empress. So you could be, you know, in the you could be a mother or a father in the future here. The Empress energy, growth of new things, growth, abundance, self worth and value. Someone could also in the future see you in that energy. Did you see this person looking down at this person? Like, whoa! I like to have that person. <laughs> Seven of Swords. So hmm, let's get one more possible outcome. In the future. And the emperor. Wow. So you have 
a divine counterpart here coming to you in the future. The Emperor and the Empress, divine counterparts. But I don't know what that Seven of Swords is. It can be just lies, deceit, sneaky kind of energy. So why is that here? The sun. Wow. Divine counterpart, soulmate, twin flame, the sun energy, happiness, joy, success, victory, enlightenment, healing, happy home and family. It's all coming for you. Better days are coming for you. Look at the sun. Really? T divine counterparts, wishes and dreams coming true. But why? I have one more. So I still don't know why the seven of swords is here. And we have so many good cards here. Why is the seven of swords here? Two of pentacles. Okay, so you may feel... You may juggle this around in your head like feeling it's too good to be true or maybe you feel like you can't trust it or because um, the two of pentacles can be about feeling a little imbalanced or, you know, things just aren't quite balanced out or feeling like you're juggling things around. So you may be kind of be juggling around this idea like, geez, I don't know if I can trust this connection. What if it ends up like the past? But I don't see that. I don't see that at all. I don't think you have to worry about this connection being being like your past whatever that was for you wow so let's see what's on the bottom the tower yeah so you may be worried here you may be a little uh, shook up by this person but it is they're going to shake you up because they're a past life soulmate or somebody you knew from the past but definitely definitely could have children in the future here also but this is your soulmate and it's going to really shake you up here and wonder and feel like, should I run from this? Should I run? Leave them out in the cold? You may wait for a while here. You may tell them, I need to wait and think about this and analyze it. And be at, maybe I feel like you're at a crossroads. Like, I don't know what to do here. So probably have to go in and do some soul searching work about this. But I feel like you were dreaming of it, waiting for it, wanting it. And then once it's here, it's like, uh, geez, I don't know now. So now you're really going to do more inner journey work here. Maybe a little defensive and on guard here, but they're going to offer you long-term stability, growth, abundance for the future. There it is. So I feel like you will take this leap of faith in the future uh, with this, whatever it is for you. Jumping right in and taking a leap of faith. It's a very secure, stable, and grounded, abundant, long-term future. So we have Aquarius. We have Virgo. Let's see. We have Aries with the Tower. Uh, let's see. We have Leo. The Empress here is Libra Taurus. We have Aries. The Knight of Pentacles is Taurus. That's your energy. Uh, what else here? Sagittarius. Uh, the Queen of Swords is Libra. High Priestess is Pisces. Let's see, I make a mess of my cards here. And I think that's all I see. So, yeah, so I do see better days are coming for you in the future. And you may not trust it once it gets there. You may second guess it. And it may shake you up and then you may retreat for a while but then i think in the long run you'll end up taking a leap of faith taurus all right because your wishes and dreams will be coming true especially with the nine of cups energy the sun the emperor and the empress the ace of pentacles we saw the wheel of fortune all right what else what other messages for taurus taurus if you're new you like my energy my style how i read feel free to check out my channel like what you see Feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell, you won't miss out. Get about five readings a month. A general, a love, a singles, spirit messages from spirit, and a bonus where we take a look at a little bit of love, life, and then advice for you. So here we have Unbound, releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. So, and I feel like here, the phoenix rising from the ashes. Whatever here, you unbound yourself from whatever your past was here and changing and coming out of that energy. All right, so what else? What else for 
Taurus. Priestess, how are you being called to step and lead? So again, listening to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing. We have that energy over here with the high priestess. Um, taking the lead. So maybe you need to take the lead. I feel like somebody will be taking the lead with you and then you're going to feel a little unsure, like I said. So what else for Taurus? Trust your path. If you knew you would, if you knew you would be supported, what would you do? So just trust your path, whatever path you're on now, just trust that it's divinely guided for you, especially with the wheel of fortune there. And we have don't dim to fit in. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? So this is saying to be true to who you are, who you are, what you are, whatever you overcame. Um, just be you and don't change you just to fit in. Okay, Taurus, best of luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.